were older. A 92-year-old broke another American record for the 400-meter Grand Prix event in the 90-plus division, according to the Atlanta Track Club. Her name is Betty Lindbergh, and she set this record with a time of 3.05.01 at the Emory University track during the L. Comer's track and field meet. This past Tuesday, the record is pending uh, right now, but uh, it looks it looks good because I saw her going over the finish line. Here's some noise from that, or some sound, if you will. You can't see, but she's going to be crossing that finish line. You'll hear. Ninety-two years old, folks. That is exciting. As she says that I'm very pleased with what I did, Lindbergh told the Atlanta Track Club. I sort of heard people yelling, but I was concentrating so hard to keep going with those last 100 meters. By the way, Lindbergh is a veteran when it comes to breaking those track records. Just last year, she broke the 800 meters and the world national record for her age group, the time of six. 57, 56. And that's pretty good news. So who's to say you can't do anything? I told you we have one of our supporters that uh, called me one day and I asked him where he was. He said he was up on the roof changing solar panels in his 90s. Okay? So you can do things. And if, you, if you're listening, sir, you know who you are. Thank you very, very much. Appreciate all of you tuning in. As usual, you really do make a big difference uh, in my life, and I hope we enrich yours and your family. hope you learn something, and I hope you really see and hear the value of this broadcast because I'll tell you, there's so many programs out there on radio. I'm just mystified on how some of them are able to get on the radio and provide some kind of worthwhile service. It's just kind of static, so I don't know. If you like what you hear, tell your local radio station about it. And to do that, you just you pick up the phone and say, hey, um, we'd love to have four of the people on this radio station and uh, have some of your friends do it. And believe it or not, that actually makes a difference. Um, your phone call, uh, postcard, uh, an email, something to that extent coming from you, it would mean a lot. And we appreciate that. And if you're listening to a radio station, by the way, we, we often say it, but um, you, you need to take this to heart thank them by doing business with the sponsors of this station. So if you hear a commercial and you will on the station uh, or underwriting support of some kind or sponsorship opportunity, or they're doing something, get behind them, stand with them because they make for the people possible. And we will never forget that. And uh, our listeners that help support us, we appreciate you too, making that big, big difference uh, every day as we uh, take to the microphone and give you pertinent information that uh, is designed with you in mind. And we always like to hear from you. And to do so, you can go to our website at ForThePeopleShow.com and let us know what you're thinking uh, about a particular issue. How about the James Comey firing? Any thoughts on that? What are you thinking about all of this stuff? Are you keeping up with it? Is it aggravating you? Um, you know, some of my personal thoughts today on the whole thing, because that seems to be the big story on uh, the mainstream media, uh, watching CNN on a monitor yesterday, it just, uh, it floors me on how, how diametrically opposed they are to anything that Trump does. Trump had the right to do it. Comey said that every president has the reserve to do so, and he can fire whoever and whomever he does with little or no cause. He can do it. And he did it, and I'm sure it was justified. Yeah, the attorney general uh, laid some pressure on it, but there's good reason for it. Uh, and it's not to cover up what the mainstream media, or CNN or MSNBC says, but that uh, Comey was so close uh, to showing collusion uh, in Trump and his associates being in bed with the Russians. And wasn't it ironic that he met with a Russian official yesterday in the White House after just firing Comey? Listen, it would take real gojones if you really were in collusion to actually have a Russian diplomat. Then he got Kissinger in the White House 
uh, on that day. And who would have thought Henry Kissinger, uh, Dr. Kissinger, would be there on the same day? I have no idea. Still don't know why Kissinger was there. I'm going to have to do some follow-up um, investigating myself to find out what the deal was there. But please weigh in on Facebook uh, or send me an email and what your thoughts are. And if you come up with something uh, that seems to be cohesive and makes sense, please let me know. But I'll tell you what, this is going to be a consuming thing uh, when it comes to these committees uh, trying to point the finger of showing collusion to try to get this president uh, or any more of his administration fired um, for showing something. And believe me, I'd be the first to say if there was collusion or I thought there was collusion, I'd be the first to say impeach the guy. But I don't see any of that happening. I see the left using this. You're pretty much so discontentment in a lot of America that believes that Hillary Clinton should have been the president. And very mad, very sad, and in their safe room, if you will, hugging puppies because they're so scared, calling Donald Trump a king. He's not a king. He's a human being who is trying to make a difference for his country and trying to do the best by his countrymen. And I believe he will do that job, despite what the mainstream media says about him. Once you're in the White House, it's not a popularity contest. He's there to make a difference. We need to pray for him. Folks, thanks so much for joining us. Please go to our website today and help us make a difference each and every day. Keith Allen saying all the best. May God bless. May God bless.